day two. How'd you sleep? I slept wonderfully. I woke up and finished, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. The bed was actually comfortable, I felt like. Because I feel like that two hours was pretty good. Dang, you did sleep for two hours. I think we felt long because we're an hour behind. But like, I well, I slept for two hours in the bed. I woke up at seat, so I took a shower for one hour, really. Two mm. hours, no. You know, yeah, two hours. Like hour anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I slept on the couch for a few hours, and that was comfortable as well. <laughs> Girl, is KO. Yeah. Early right, decision Starbucks. is for the number. Are we like, recording already? The stack. Yeah. You don't see the recording button? So if you have like a super, super seconds. high everything. What would you guys have for like people who wanted to go to Georgia now? Like, what would be an advice? Apply. <laughs> oh, this is serious. Um, <laughs> I would say definitely like don't stay static in one friendship. Just because like those are the people that you met when you first came, you should always branch out. And no, apply to UGA. Oh, apply. Like, like oh, do you guys think it's harder? No, no. Oh, okay. Do you guys think it's harder? Like, yeah. I feel like the black rate has gone down because black people aren't applying as much. I feel the same. Yeah. I feel I like think that's take the SAT more than one time. Yeah. And don't be afraid to apply. Yeah. Like, yeah. affirmative just, action is very much so real. Yeah. Like, they're gonna let black people in. You just gotta yeah. apply. It's been a good. To a certain extent, though. To a certain extent. They might be doing affirmative action anymore, but they gotta be doing it. I know, they did affirmative action for medicine school. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't have no advice for people playing. I guess don't be um, upset if you get deferred. Yeah. yeah. Like, don't let it's that. It's literally. Did y'all all just say y'all got deferred? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think I updated my application. I think you had a choice to update it, right? Yeah, I, I think so. Good. I don't think I did. Because I feel good about it. I don't know why they deferred me in the first place. And I feel like UGA has gotten more competitive, so I would like do things to make yourself set apart, which I feel like sounds easier than how is that saying though? Easier said than done. But it's true, like volunteer extracurriculars. Because I can't say everyone that I've met at UGA, I feel like is really smart or they've done something really good. Like, I don't know if I've met a lazy person, I guess, at UGA. I would say yeah. the same. I've, ne I've never met a lazy person at this school. Yeah. Like, someone who's just like, but yeah. not doing this. And like, there's a, and there's definitely a range of people who do the most, who do way more, but like, yeah. even the people who aren't doing a lot, they're still not lazy. So, yeah. it's a competitive school. So, I would say be prepared for that. And if that's something, if you like to be involved, you know, and go the extra mile, then it's definitely because there's so many opportunities here. No, the there's really is. Crazy. Especially when you and Terry ask this one. Watch out. Terry Terry's goes crazy at UGA. Yeah, no, it it really does. Oh, yeah. But the, does oppor crazy. the opportunities that you get out of it are crazy. Like, great opportunities set you up. You'll have a yeah. job offer to two, three years before you graduate, honestly, fool with Terry. We got offered six figures right after graduation. Yeah. She made like 10K over the summer from her internship. And I'm just like, Same. I should have, I should have gone into business. I think yeah. about that yeah. every day. That's crazy. <laughs> I think about that every day. Life would have been so good after, well, I guess like the only con is it's like, you got to go straight into work for real, for real. Yeah. But you yeah. also making money for real, for real. Yeah. I know my mom was kind of talking about that. Why wouldn't you just take it right after, like take the opportunity like right after college? I'm like, dang, do I really want to go work immediately? Yeah, that's the other thing. For no. the money, yes. But. True. 40 hours a week, no spring break, no fall break. What about it? <laughs> you might get election day off, shoot. <laughs> I don't have any other advice for funny UGA. I feel so out of the loop just because like we're in UGA, I, you don't pay attention to yeah, yeah. And that's what, I was what it's like say. outside. Like I don't know the test scores. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they like really look at things and stuff like that. I feel like they got more lax on tips. You scores, really? Though, and stuff since COVID. I really want to say oh, that yeah. that happened. Like yeah. they weren't stressing them as much, and they were taking the test a little differently than we would have. But that's another thing. I feel like people should like take both tests too. 
Yeah. Cause my brother, he was really stuck on just one test. And I was like, no, like take the other test. You might be better at yeah. it. Yeah. I would say too that it's better to, you know, focus on one extracurricular and excel in it rather than like do just a bunch and mm -hmm. you're really just not doing anything. Because that would help with like your personal statement too, like just how you really impacted one group of people versus like I was in like six clubs, but what did you do in those? You know? Exactly. Yeah. So if even if like you haven't done anything at this moment and you're watching this video, it's not too late. Go join a group and you know, make some shape in the group. I also feel like I heard this somewhere like when I was applying during college or college but applying to majors that aren't as popular too you might like increase your chances of getting in into like the smaller colleges so like for example if you were um, intended for Terry it might be harder because there are so many people who are probably yes. wanting like, to major in Terry but like the College of Public Health for example very small college like forestry, I think that's a small college too. <laughs> yeah. So oh, yeah. What? <laughs> uh, Case College of Agriculture and Environmental Science. And that's the perfect route for medical school. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of people. That's what Jada is. Right? Yeah, Jada is. Yeah, that's another thing about UGA though. They have so many different majors and stuff. You wouldn't even know. Starbucks is kind of taking it. It is, bro. It really is. What is going on? You ain't gonna start. I get so many people, like, because I posted about my medical school acceptance, mm -hmm. so many people were asking me, like, about my stats and stuff, and I feel like that's never helpful for people. You know what I mean? Because my stats and, like, what I did is going to be different than someone else. Than someone else. But I think, like, people do that in general because they just want, they need something to go by. But at the same time, if the person who they're asking or like trying to get information from me. Hi guys! Welcome to the vlog. This is the November 19th UGA versus Kentucky. <coughs> it is located excuse me, in Lexington. So like Zoe said, we are about to go to the game. I don't know, like, it's not, we're not moving like we're trying to go to the game. <laughs> like, why is it throwing so many games? Oh, okay. It's okay, we're just, we have to get ready. I literally was like, <laughs> I literally went for the music. I was just like, no, here's Javi. Hi. Uh, How are you feeling, Javi? Uh, what do you mean? Do I think we're going to win? Like, I said we're kind of moving. Like, the game isn't our priority, which is fine. Like, I'm showing. We look cute. And it's because I've been to a bunch of other games and we're the national champions. We're going to win anyway. I know the outcome. So I'm just going for the vibe. Yeah. I need to be drunk for the vibe. So. Yeah, like, you I'm okay. It. Like, we can show up at halftime. I'll be perfectly fine. That's what y'all are doing. Oh. <laughs> Slide in, now slide out. Yeah. We killed it. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, shit. What is going on? <laughs> I'm going back and forth. <laughs> Wait, is there a TikTok that we can make? Oh, yeah. Where is fucking Sierra going? Okay, guys, so we are at the stadium. I don't know the name of the stadium. Kroger Stadium. Kroger, Kroger Stadium. stadium. I hope I hope that's Georgia fans cheering, y'all. That bad cold wise. I think when we sit down too, we'll be facing the sun a little bit. How is everybody feeling on a scale one to ten? I'm feeling ten. I'm feeling ten. I'm feeling good.